Hey there, this right here is sodium chloride, the salt we sprinkle on our food every single day. Through the process of recrystallization, the typical granular form of salt can undergo a transformation into these distinct cubic crystals. In the structure of a sodium chloride crystal lattice, each chloride ion is surrounded by six sodium ions, while each sodium ion is surrounded by six chloride ions, forming a tightly packed arrangement. In the sodium chloride crystal lattice, chloride ions and sodium ions extend in all directions in space according to this arrangement, resulting in the formation of cubic crystals. All right, uh, if we want those sodium chloride crystals, step one is getting a saturated sodium chloride solution ready to roll. Add sodium chloride to hot water and stir until it dissolves completely. Repeat this procedure until a small amount of sodium chloride remains undissolved at the bottom of the beaker, indicating that the solution is saturated. Now, just sit back and let that solution cool down to room temperature. Easy peasy, right? Filter if there are impurities. All right, let's move that saturated sodium chloride solution into a nice, cozy crystallization dish. Time to let the magic happen. Hmm, looks like our crystals are feeling a bit under the weather. Cloudy, you might say. But don't worry, we'll figure out how to give them some clarity. Ah, the secret ingredient. Toss in some glycine while making the saturated solution, and voila! Those sodium chloride crystals will be so clear, they'll put diamonds to shame. Crystal clarity, here we come.